Well, a, a, a good Saturday to all of you, yes. Ugh! Damn, that one had some kick. That one had some kick. That one almost fucking killed me. Drunk at 1 p.m., huh? Get drunk on nice caffeine, which I desperately fucking needed. I got up early again today. I'm becoming stronger, more powerful. Ugh. Hell yeah. He actually has more daylight hours. I'm reclaiming them slowly. Slowly I am reclaiming what was lost. It's all coming back to me. We're probably only gonna do like a three hour stream today because I've been, I mean, despite the day off yesterday, it didn't feel like much of a day off for me. I was very busy. And uh, I have I have done many a long stream this week, so I'm gonna take today probably pretty easy. Uh, busy. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff I was setting up. Chad, uh, these weekends these weekends are always quite busy for me. See, and I have stuff I'm doing later tonight. And on top of it. I was so busy yesterday. The, uh, I didn't even know until yesterday, actually, that, um, the Convergence mod for Elden Ring had released an alpha. So I was also checking that out. Don't know if I'm gonna do a stream of that until it's out of alpha, but who knows. Who knows? Maybe convergence with randomizer. <laughs> maybe I'll just maybe I'll just really ruin this thing. Maybe I'll just do that or something. The what now? People always ask these questions, but they never ask Google. They never ask Google. You know what I mean? Like they always ask me. And then I have to be the person who tells them to ask Google because I'm not gonna fucking sit here and explain it over and over again. Google, what is tomato talking about? Ask them that. They'll know. You think Google doesn't listen to everything you're fucking listening to all the time? They'll know. You think Google doesn't know? Of course they know. Uh, yeah, that someone made this uh, SCP FNAF style game. So I was like, hell yeah, man. I got backup game just in case, but we're going to basically treat it like a variety horror night tonight. We're going to treat it like a nice variety horror night. And then, uh, you know, have a lovely, have a lovely little, little stream. Oh boy. I'm very excited for some of the stuff coming up though on stream though. There's some cool stuff I've been working on. There's been some cool stuff. And I didn't and I, I was so I, I was so fa like when I was setting stuff up yesterday I was like, "Damn, there was a chance I could have been banned this whole time because of the Morrowind thing." So it was like it was all it was like time that I had earned through my hard work because alternatively I could have been banned for the Morrowind thing. It was like exciting to have like the uh, like to know that like my stream still existed. You know, it made me feel alive. I should do more stuff where there's a chance I could get completely fucking dumpstered for it. Actually, it made me feel alive. It was the first time I'd ever, ever felt the thrill. Was that like fucking, there's like a new VR horror game that came out too that's apparently pretty good. It's based off like Resident Evil. No one asked me to play VR games now that it's May through like September though, okay? Because you're not gonna like what I give you as an answer. 
Skyrim VR a year ago almost fucking killed me. He's so weak and pathetic. I just don't fucking want to do that to myself. I'm just so tired. And it's worse now because now I've got these fucking like lenses in the headset for like my prescription for my glasses. And they put the lenses even closer to my eyes now. So they fog out even faster. So it's even harder to see when it's hot. There's no point where I can see what's happening in these fucking headsets. Time for an ice vest? Dude. A couple weeks ago, I fucked up my elbows really bad working out. I bought, like, really nice, like ice wrap things that like you can like strap to your body and shit like that i'll tell you what though now i just take them out like i fucking whenever it gets a little bit too hot dude i'm walking around with ice just strapped to my body all the time i do not need an injury to use this bad boy this fucking thing on my head sometimes for like a solid couple minutes i'm just walking around with a big ice pack strapped to my head my brain's cold. My brain got cold. Bargain bin, Mr. Freeze. Dude, look, when you just get off of like a nice solid like 30 minute cardio workout, there is no bigger rush on this earth than grabbing five different ice packs and just covering your whole body with them and just going into full shock. All right? There's nothing better than entering complete shock as your whole body doesn't know what the hell's going on to it. Only 30 minutes? Okay, old man. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response because anything I say would be wildly toxic towards you. So I'm just going to let you walk through this revolving door and revolve back out. Say it. Nah, man. Nah, man. I got nothing. I got nothing to prove. Nothing to prove. I could own you if I wanted. <laughs> I, if I wanted to, dude, I could destroy you. I just, I decided not to for your sake, dude. I'm reserving my power. Dude, I do cardio so much now just to look at the fucking calorie thing on the on the on the fucking monitor and be like, and now I can eat trash again. <laughs> it, it's never been to get in shape. It's so I can look at the amount of garbage I can eat now. <laughs> Nice. It says I've it says I've burned 400 calories. It's time to immediately put it all back. The calories have fallen out, so I got to put them back in right now. Ah. When does the game start? <laughs> Never.
does 500 calorie workout, shovels down another 1,200 calories. Yeah, I mean, look, I I'm not I'm not working out a ton recently, specifically so I can get into like a good shape. It just makes me feel good to work out. At the end of the day, that's the only reason I'm doing it. I don't really care too much about being like fucking like perfect peak physical condition again. I'm just it just it's a good thing to get my brain off stuff. Did Tomato see the leaked FNAF movie trailer yet? Uh no, and I don't think I care. And I don't want that to come off as mean. It's just like, there's no point where I would have ever been looking it up because I don't fucking care about the FNAF movie at all. So if it had leaked a year ago, I still would not have seen it. It just doesn't matter to me. It just doesn't matter to me. You know, but spring trap, but nothing. Didn't Nicolas Cage already do that? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Dude, in like three days, Darkest Dungeon 2 comes out. Did they fix it? If I stream that on its release date, will it have been fixed? I'm not, I, I'm not saying that as in like, is it Darkest Dungeon 1 now? I'm asking, is it... Am I going to constantly be screaming at randomly generated character interactions that ruin my entire party? Is what I'm asking. Because I will probably play it at launch. Because I haven't played it at all since early access launch. But I want to know going in if I'm going to fucking loathe the most annoying part of that game. They reworked the system. Okay, good. Yeah, I've I've long since made peace with the reality that Darkest Dungeon 2 will never be won. Uh and accepted it. I don't hold any ill will towards it anymore for that. I hold ill will towards it for all of its bullshit. <laughs> I hold ill will towards that game now for all of its bullshit that it still has in it that has nothing to do with Darkest Dungeon 1. But hopefully it'll all be fixed. Because having not played any of that game since its early access launch, I'm kind of excited to check it out. What about Black Reliquary? I'll also play that when it's done. A lot of people have been asking me about that. I already played an early access version of that back when it was a demo. I'll wait until it's finished. I'm not... I'm not... I, I, I don't feel like playing it until it's like feature complete completely. I thought it was done. I'm pretty sure they're still adding content is the thing. Uh, matter of fact, uh, at least I thought they were. Unless that suddenly changed. Is it fully done? They released it on Steam, but it's still not done, which is confusing. I thought it said early access on its Steam page uh, before, like as like a free, like free mod. Despite that, I thought it said early access. Yeah, I don't want to play it till the final part's done, because I'm pretty sure like one of the zones isn't finished. So I'm not going to play it until then. I just don't feel I, I get into those games. I don't like having something tell me it's not like ready to be completed, you know, like gameplay wise. So. What, is there, like, terms of service bullshit with Black Reliquary? Because I've seen a lot of my friends stream that game, that mod at this point. 
I think you I think you're entering the realm of like is it really like like when it's like hosted on Steam the way it is as its own game I, at some point when it becomes total conversion enough I I think that like the rules get muddied anyways uh, especially when Darkest Dungeon already does have like you know <laughs> you know but yeah I'm not going to play it anytime soon anyways The workshop for Darkest Dungeon is insane. It's 50% cool mods and 50% uh, tits. The cool mods are cool though. Damn man. I'd say Black Reliquary is more of a sequel than Darkest Dungeon 2. Dude, it's gotta be wild to be the Darkest Dungeon devs and have people dumpstering their new game <laughs> all the time. <laughs> and just know that somehow you made like a game that was so perfect in its execution that people will never accept its sequel. I'm gonna give Darkest Dungeon 2 a chance. I had significant issues with only one of the parts in reality. So when it comes out, I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge it too hard, considering it's not like Darkest Dungeon 1's going anywhere. Cause really the only big issue I had with that game was the relationship system. Like that was like the true big problem. Why aren't you primed to shit on everything 24-7 like a real man? I... Everyone knows I hate every game. Most video games have become derivative. Uh, everything sucks. However. However. I more so than anything, love being a contrarian. And thus, if everyone else hates Darkest Dungeon 2, I would love to grab that, grab that banner and say they're all wrong. I would love to do that. I only hate games as long as everyone else partially enjoys them. But the second everyone's with me over here, I'm looking at the other side of the line. And I'm wondering if maybe I should get over there. Do you follow? So you're saying you're going to play WoW. Dude, the most freeing thing I ever did was skip the newest expansion because I officially feel nothing for that game anymore. And all it took was skipping one expansion. Like... I it doesn't matter what that game ever does for the next 40 years. I don't think I'll ever care again because I freed myself from the cycle. The cycle is broken. The evil is defeated. And I have emerged victorious. And I don't even dislike WoW. I just don't have the time to ever play those kinds. Dude. Sput fucking posts in the goddamn Discord when we're like trying to plan like some server stuff for like streams with the gang. And he's like, yeah, I could imagine the only thing that's really gonna conflict with these plans is that classic WoW is getting hardcore servers and we're probably gonna wanna do an Amish challenge of that. And dude, my, I, my, I actually like fucking blacked out. I actually blacked out. I didn't, I didn't reply. I said nothing. I don't know if anyone said anything. I, 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 ha I heard crickets and then I blacked out. There's no way you could get me back in there. <laughs> There's no way you're getting me back in there. There's no way. You'll be back? No, I won't. <laughs> no, I won't. No, I fucking won't. Dude, 
I hated it when we did the original classic WoW Hardcore Challenge. <laughs> it's too much. It's too long. It's too much. People get bored. The, the vast majority of people get bored of it within about a week. Honestly, are there any good MMOs anymore? Uh... Um, if anyone says RuneScape, time them out. Um, Final Fantasy's pretty cool. I can't get into it, though. The story's... Th this is, like, just a me thing, and I know the story's good. Um, it... Fucking Final Fantasy's story is so long, and I don't have the time to deal with it most of the time. And whenever I talk about how I skipped the story of, like, the expansions prior to the one I'm currently playing because I wanted to catch up, I get shamed. <laughs> And it makes me not want to play the current one because the whole time I'm playing it, people are shaking me and going, how could you not enjoy the last 500 hours of cutscenes and text boxes? And then I'm just kind of like, well, now I don't really want to do this because the whole time I'm going to be getting told how much I've missed out. And I'm not allowed to play the game that's here now. I don't know what they want from me. <laughs> I'll just stick to playing the normal Final Fantasy games, I think. I'll stick to playing the single-player ones that I that I can enjoy at my own pace and no one will grab me and say, you're both missing out and also fucking skip this cutscene so we can get back to the raid content, you fuck. I just don't know which way they want me to go. Guild Wars 2 is pretty cool. Only problem is that whenever I play Guild Wars 2, I'm always like, this game's really fun. And then I like, and then it goes like, hey, look around at all these things you can do. And I say, which one of these should I do? And when I look back to the guide from Guild Wars that was showing me the way, they're a skeleton. They're a skeleton, a pile of bones on the ground. And there never was a guide. They were always a skeleton, a pile of bones. I don't know where to go. That's my problem with, with Guild Wars is that it, I, <laughs> there's too much shit going on. Maple Story. I don't know about that one, man. I don't know about that one, dude. Lol, I play Genshin now. Dude, I love my gotchas, bro! Yes, dude! Dude, get help. No, that's not fair, but I couldn't play a gotcha. I don't like it when games financially, like, dunk on me. Or exp like I've spoken on this many times. Like I won't play the new game made by uh, the devs who made like Library of Runa and Lobotomy Corporation because it's a gotcha game. I'll never play it. I literally like on principle I will never play it ever unless they release a version of it that doesn't involve gotcha mechanics. I will never play that game ever. Just won't do it. I will not engage in gotcha mechanics in video games and I won't play the free version quote unquote and just ref like, like just like even turning it on and starting to play it is opening yourself up to that point where you break and just buy the thing you know it's like that's how they get you so it's like I will never play it I'll never turn it on I'll never install it I'm not I'm never gonna go and look in that fucking you know horrible situation and be enticed into purchasing just give me an upfront purchase that costs money and give me a product that I can consume. But if you want to fucking gate it behind random chance, no, no. No, no. He loves game with one, games with $100 DLCs. I would 
prefer to be nickel and dimed on DLCs by fucking Paradox than play a gotcha. And I say that as someone who is wholly against the nickeling and diming of Paradox. But I would still prefer that over a gotcha game. Because at the very least, I got to choose what I bought. I knew exactly what I was getting from that purchase. Speaking of Paradox, you hear good things about that Age of Wonders 4 game. Yeah, I, he I heard good things from my friends too, but the problem is it was Paradox. And the, the thing is, I actually ended up caving anyways because I heard more good things from my friends about it. I bought it, tried to launch it, and it told me I had to make a Paradox account. Now, I can't confirm if that was actually true, but Paradox's launcher, which I was unaware even existed, told me I had to make a Paradox account. So I was like, well... I guess I'll punch in my email. And then Paradox like, you already have an email with us. And I was like, well, I guess I'll recover it. And they were like, all right, we sent you a recovery email. That never showed up. And that was 40 seconds into trying to install the game off of their launcher. So I refunded it instead. Yeah, the second that they inconvenienced me for even a second, I took my money back. Dude, I cannot fit, like stand launcher games. I literally like that's an in, like an instantaneous refund for me is when it forces a launcher to do something like to run the game. I will. I don't have to play it that bad, dude. I've got like forty other games I should be playing. I was like curious based off of my friends like like you know pretty glowing recommendations, but the second that it was like you need to fucking download this launcher and uh, like make an account and we're gonna hassle you about every time you launch i was like no <laughs> no 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 i'm grateful that steam lets me refund very quickly i'm sure at some point i'll play that game but maybe when i've got a shortage of games that aren't distracting me the moment that a game uh puts a fucking gate in front Every game needs to stop doing this, like, unique launcher shit with Steam. Like, get it out of here. Come on. Get that shit out of here. It is so pointless. Like, it needs to be, it needs to be gone or it needs to be fucking labeled in red fucking text on the game on the store that there's a second, like, there's, there's a third party launcher attached to this shit every single time. Like, so clearly that there's no way I can miss it because that is a purchasing, like, that is part of the, like, the factoring for me for, for, like, a purchase is whether or not I'm going to be hassled by another part of this goddamn, like, publisher every single time I launch it. Ugh. Horrible. Horrible. See, that's why I like playing free-to-play indie games, because these things, they have the common courtesy to stealth install a crypto miner onto my PC, but I don't notice that. That's under the hood. I don't have to worry about that one. Sam with my summer car. Dude, he never finished the fucking car, and it's... It's a damn shame. I should probably loop back and, like, grab him for, like, a day so we can finish it, but it's, like... He clearly didn't have... He didn't ever follow up with me again on it. Maybe he doesn't have the fucking drive. You know, maybe he never did. Maybe that's why the car wouldn't start. It sensed he didn't have the fighting spirit. You know? He didn't have the fighting spirit. All it takes is one moped accident. All it takes is one little accident.
Gamma 1.0. You guys talking about fucking Stalker Gamma? Dude, I, I keep on doing this thing where I'll get a little ways into Gamma, or like any version of Stalker, and then burn out. I think I'm reaching the point where like, I'm just like, I've played enough Stalker. Like, I think it's reaching that, I think it's reaching that point. That's not a bad thing. It's just like, I think I've played enough of it. Like there's, there is nothing I can do to hold my attention in that game for more than like a day or two before I'm just like looking elsewhere. I gotta take a break of like a couple of years or something. Like streams are a different story, but like off stream, like just playing it to have fun exclusively for that with no intention of like streaming it or something. I just don't have it anymore, man. It's kind of like that with Cataclysm too. It's like if I'm not trying to stream Cataclysm, I would never fucking play it again. I've played too much of it. Just too many, too many hours of video games. Too many hours of video games. How do you de-stress? Currently, I work out. If I need to de-stress hard, I uh, run and then immediately follow it up with a bunch of incline uh, walking for like an hour. <laughs> I, I just keep walking and running on a treadmill until uh, while I listen to a podcast for like an hour. That's how I de-stress. I don't play games right now to do that because it's just too much. It's too, it's too connected. It's too connected to my job to be on like my PC doing anything right now. I don't know. My brain just doesn't like it anymore. Podcast recommendations. Right now, I've been listening to uh, uh, Worlds Beyond Number, the new uh, podcast D and D show that Brennan Lee Mulligan's doing. been pretty good it's been pretty good it's a lot more like serious storytelling but that's an interesting thing so pretty good it's not bad Why did you, uh-oh. Why would someone, why did someone, don't ever come into my chat and just say, uh-oh. Don't ever do that. Why did you, uh-oh. <sighs> Explain. Explain why you uh-oh'd. What did you do? It was a bit for my previous message, D colon. Oh, so, oh, 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 I see, I see. Oh, it all makes sense now. Oh, uh-oh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe uh, add the context next time, add uh-oh, and then a parentheses, it says, this is in regards to my last message. Next time you uh-oh. <laughs> Please add explanations to your uh, your posts, like a parenthesis that says context, and then like add a fucking like link to the context. Don't add a link; you'll get fucking banned by Nightbot. But you know what I mean. Please add citations. <laughs> Please cite your sources on these on these uh alls. Darora, thank you for the twenty gifted subs. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks. You have to remember to cite your sources. 
And if it goes to Wikipedia, you're a fucking idiot. It better not. It better not. Dude, I remember one time I was in high school and my teacher truly was just like, y'all can cite Wikipedia if you want to. And well, that was the fastest project I had ever done in my life. That was the fastest project I'd ever done in my whole life was the one where my teacher just let me cite Wikipedia for the whole thing. If you want to get an F, I, I never got an F in high school. I never failed a, like an exam or anything like that that hard. I got close with calculus. I got close with... No, no, no. Math, I got close. Like, I didn't get Fs. But... I did... I did get close a couple times with, like, pre-calc and crap like that. Because I fucking hated it. <laughs> I fucking hated it. And then I started cheating instead, and then I got A's again. That was the best decision I ever made, was getting really deep into the same thing everyone else was already really deep into, which was um, uh, putting all the answers to the calculus questions in your scientific calculator. That Now that's how you, that, the, anyone who didn't do that, you're a fucking dork, man. You have to cheat, alright? That's, everyone does it. Catch up. What are you trying to prove? Use every tool at your disposal. Show your work. <laughs> they... They said the accursed phrase. They did it! A power word. Show your work. I'll just like fucking next time. If a if <laughs> what if you just like what if you just like you know? No, I don't think they'd buy it. No, I don't know. I. See, that's the thing, though, is that once you reach, like, calculus level, you, like, showing your work is just saying what you punched into your calculator. Like, like there is no work to show. The, the machine is doing it. Like, what do you fucking want from me? I can take a picture of the calculator for you if you'd like. I have a, I have a lovely Polaroid I took of the calculator, something really tasteful. Not true, lol. Well, you see, this is the good thing, is that I don't care at the end of the day because, fortunately, my line of work and many a people's line of work never, uh, never, ever, ever called upon my knowledge or learning from calculus in any way, shape, or form uh, at all. So, uh, none of this matters. I've had moments where my knowledge from, like, biology or something has been called upon at some point for some niche, stupid thing. But nothing from calculus has ever come up for me in my life. Ever. Just you wait. Name one biology. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of this cell. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. I mean, I have to do a lot of IT stuff for, like, work. Yeah, a lot of stuff you guys see is the streaming funny hee ha ha, but there is a lot of like bullshit I have to do behind the scenes. And not, not, nothing involving math really in general has ever been something that I haven't called upon the internet to solve instead for me.
Because I guess that's just the trajectory of our entire planet is using the internet to solve math. <laughs> my my English teaching helped a lot more for me. This guy knows Python. Unironically, I wish I did know Python. The amount of times that I have to use Python for some random niche bullshit on these PCs, I do wish I knew Python. And no, I'm not gonna learn it. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I will be, but I do appreciate people telling me it's easy to do. I won't be doing that. I wish I knew it already, but I won't be doing anything to learn it now. You misunderstand. I know some Java. I know some Lua from Gary's mod era. I'm not learning Python. I know some Java because of Minecraft? I love Minecraft, dude. Learned how to make mods, dude. Dude, it is really such a shame that Minecraft wasn't coded onto like C++, something that something that would have way more applications if a bunch of idiot Zoomers decided to obsess over learning it for like 10 years of their life when Minecraft was popular. It's such a shame that like it didn't launch that way so everyone could learn C++. Oh, it is though. Yeah, but not now. Let me finish my thought. Because, damn, if I had had, like, Java, if I had had Minecraft back when I was younger in C++, and I could have obsessed over learning that coding language, boy, oh boy, that would have had a lot more applications for me in the real world than fucking Java. At least for, like, stuff I would have wanted to do in the future, like, involving, like, gaming or anything like that. Java's still useful? Yeah, yeah, but like, you know, it's not, it's not, you know what I mean. JavaScript is more useful. Well, Chad, I'm not, I'm not, oh my God. You know what? We're going to stop this conversation because the, the, whenever we get into the weeds with this shit, a lot of people come out with a lot of bullshit and get very fucking adamant about their like, Factoids they know. <laughs> I just don't feel like it. Um, actually, actually, man, uh, we, JavaScript and Oracle are used in dozens of dozens of programs and enterprises today. Surely you know that. Oh, wait, you don't. That's why I have to tell you. <laughs> actually, Python is a snake. Idiot. I don't know how you got so confused and so misguided. <sighs> I wish there were more snakes around, chat. I never see any snakes anymore. I used to get like garden snakes and stuff in my yard. Now they're all dead, I guess. The dead or they moved. They used to get fun little like snakes slithering around. I'd be like, fuck yeah. And I'd like hang out with them for a minute. And now they're gone. Some have tiny legs. You mean a lizard? <laughs> you, mean, <laughs> you mean a lizard? <laughs> you mean you mean a lizard or like a snake with little legs? You mean a skink? What the fuck is a skink? A skink is a little lizard. A 
A what? A little lizard. They're reptiles. I, you see, I love when I look up like a like an animal on Google, and, and the like second question people ask is, "What does what do skinks do?" It's like, well, you, my guy, it's a fucking animal on Earth. Like, I, what do you fucking like? What do you? Why do you need to look up the like? mechanical function of a skink. They hang out and they just do their thing. Like, are you expecting to find some really like in-depth answer about the mechanics of a skink? I'm pretty sure they just eat bugs. And they hang out sometimes. Like, <laughs> you're not gonna open one of these. Yeah, you're not gonna open one of these and just say it. It, it fights off the dark forces of the abyss. Like, it's not going to say that. It's not going to say that these guys... Like, it's rare... Like, bees are really, like, one of the only ones where, like, if you look up, what do bee do? There's going to be an actual meaningful thing that's like, oh, bee pollinate plants so plants grow good. Like, most of them don't have that. Most animals are, well, it eat... It eat and it live here. That or I've not been looking up the mechanics of many animals on the earth. Cause like, what if I just didn't check that elephant shrews are really good at balancing my portfolio? I didn't check. I didn't check. I didn't check. Otters make great accountants. Nah, otters make great friends. Otters are disgusting shits. Can we time that person out? Um, freedom of speech is a fucking myth, okay? And you're getting the hell out of here because I don't like what you said. All right, and I will never ever allow that kind of statement to ever exist in this space ever again. Okay. <laughs> I swear to God, if I am elected president, <laughs> we will we will not allow otters to be treated like this in the public. I will not allow people to badmouth them like this ever again. Not allow this kind of slander. Aren't otters assholes? Not sure where you heard that. Probably from the guy we just had timed out for life. That's uh, that's some uh, that's some wild free thinking you got there, and some pretty like wild like incorrect free thinking at that. You might wanna you might wanna rein it back in and look at what the public you know, collective are kind of feeling. And the temperature is, uh, the, 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 we're all thinking otters are pretty cool. The temperature is cool. Otters are pretty cool. And you might want to get al aligned with that. Otters are cool. Seals are cool. They're all just pretty cool. Most, believe it or not, my stance on most animals is pretty cool. I have no, I have no notes. I've got no, I've got no corrections that I think need to be made. I think kiwis are sad. Well, here's the problem with kiwis, okay? The bird. Um, they, they do look like, they look like some kind of, 
you know, fairy or like mystical creature in like a story waved their hand and made the kiwi the fruit alive and then forgot to change them back is what I would say first. I would say that this is kind of like a mystical fairy godmother kind of thing where they were like, I need a trip to get to the ball. And they were like, yeah, I got you. All we have is kiwis. And they made these nasty things. And then it just like uh, became alive and ran into the woods before they could stop it. And then it, you know, multiplied. Which, I mean, yeah, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look right. It looks like it's missing a lot of crucial details you know like it looks closer to a mole than like a bird at some points and that's okay i love kiwi but you gotta admit it looks like like a, a mystical fairy creature waved their hand and made this thing alive from a normal kiwi on the ground <laughs> and this is the look it gave them before it turned around and went yeah and scampered into the woods as fast as it could never to be seen again. You know? You know? I also just think that, like, there's, like, there's two kinds of pictures of kiwis. There's ones where they look really cute, and you can tell that the, like, photographer was like oh man really like kiwis gonna make sure i get a good picture of them and then there's ones of them just being the nastiest fuck i've ever seen in the wild in my entire life and there's really no in between it's either extremely cute or someone took a picture of them when they like just woke up and they look like a disgusting freak Which, I mean, honestly, is super relatable. <laughs> like, I think I think a lot of people can relate to that. Because there's only really two pictures of anyone out there. There's a picture that's you when you're looking good. And then ones where you look like a fucking monster that just crawled out of a goddamn lagoon. We're all there. Damn. Bro, where's my good looking pics at then? I don't know, man. I don't know. That's probably out there. He's haven't looked that hard. What about the pictures where I just kind of look like stare? The stare emote? I don't know. I don't, I don't think that, <laughs> I don't think, I think it's, unless you're talking, dude, last time I had a picture taken of me fucking front facing like that was like school photos, man. <laughs> Yearbook day. Hell yeah, DMV photo. Actually, yeah, no, it would have been my fucking license. It would have been my license. It would have been, it would have been my, when I had my license ID updated. <laughs> but like, that's what you want to, like, those pictures aren't stuff you want to ever show anyone. That's a picture you need to have perfectly capture as much of your face as possible reliably because you need to be sure that that thing is going to be something that if someone looks at they'll go yep that's you i don't want to have it fucking like i don't want to have this thing tastefully done because then when i look like an animal most of the time people are gonna look at my nice photo and be like that's not fucking you <laughs> it looks like you but that's not you you know i want my passport and like id photos to really look like a nasty, nasty guy, you know, most of the time. I want the bar to be low. 
Because most of the time in real life, I'm nasty guy. I'm looking a little bit more on the nasty side. You know? Damn, I gotta go- to, I gotta actually go to the fucking DMV to get my ID updated, like, in the next month. Fuck, man! My license expires on my birthday. Twenty-eighth birthday. It's my twenty-seventh birthday, you fuck! It's... My 27th in August. It's your 28th birthday. If I, all right. Hey Google, how old am I? <laughs> Let's get it out of the way. Let's just do it. Let's just, I'll just pull it open. I'll take a fucking screenshot once I punched it in. Fine, dude. Fine. Time to finally put this horrible, horrible bit to rest. Well, well, well. Well, well. Well. Well, 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 well. Well. I don't actually know what time I was born, but the rest of it checks out. 9,744 days old. <sighs> yep. He was actually born in 1995. He forgot. I'm, dude, I'm about to take away the Lore Master's fucking title. I'm about to take away the Lore Master's fucking title. I need to add, like, an asterisk to the title that says, like, uh, like not allowed to gaslight. <laughs> I need to outlaw gaslighting on the lore master. I shouldn't have to outlaw gaslighting on the lore master. That should be an understood fucking rule. <laughs> That's, I shouldn't need to go into detail about that. That, Frankly, there should be no point where anyone on Earth ever needs to establish with anyone ever that their gaslighting is not allowed. <laughs> Oh, to go to to live the simple life of a just nasty animated kiwi fruit brought to life by a fairy godmother and scampered into the woods. Oh, to just live a simple life for once. To live a simple life. But alas, there can be no peace. Bro doesn't even have arms. Nah, they're just concealed. Chat, they're just concealed. Why is brain latency a tag? <clears throat> I don't have to answer to you. Dude, I've seen some of the nastiest tags on Twitch. I have seen some truly nasty tags, like disgusting shit, in the tag section of Twitch. And yet, and yet I get asked every stream about brain latency. <laughs> I have, I have seen the darkest parts of our site here in the tag section, but I'm asked about brain latency. Flesh tuber tag. That is an unacceptable tag. That is unacceptable. That's untenable. Untenable. If 
Dude, if I was like a staff member on Twitch and I scrolled by that, I would have to actually consult the tomes to be like, that can't be allowed, right? Like I'd spend, I'd spend like 30 minutes trying to figure out if I can put a stop to this. <laughs> oh, but yet I'm but yet people don't people don't get upset about those ones. They get upset about brain latency. I mean, I feel like that one explains itself, <laughs> but yet people ask Can you do a latency test live on stream to prove it? You mean like one of the like? Nah, dude, I I can't do this. That would that would uh, that would out me really bad. That would out me really bad. I I can at least keep fabricating it, but the second I do that, people will actually know how bad it is. It is bad. Like I, <laughs> I don't got quick hands for like. I don't. I, I'm not like I'm not like a good like snapshot. On like FPS's, I don't have any of those skills. I just don't. Actually, that's not true. I can, I'm pretty good at, I would say that I can game. It's just that I, I don't at any point want to confront the reality of how sad I would be at my skills if I actually attempted to push myself at all. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, I'm happy where I am specifically right now without trying too hard. And if I ever attempted to confront the reality that I need to improve at all, that would make me really sad. So it's better that I never do that and just live a life of exactly where I am, you know? You're good at stalker. Yeah, but like, there's, I'm, I think I'm really good at a lot of like Sims like that because it's not just about shooting skill or like one specific thing. It's about using a lot of different tools at the same time. You know, I, I like doing that kind of stuff. I, I like games like that. Like, being good at stalker isn't just being good at shooting, it's knowing like what items are best to use here, like what I what thing, blah 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 blah, knowing how the economy works, blah 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 blah, you know. But there's a lot more to it than that. But let's all be honest as well. Let's be real. If you've seen me play Hawk in Overwatch, I haven't played in a long time. But uh I knew how to hog. I was like a premium hog. I knew how to hog. I mean, it's not a great thing to claim I'm really good at. I was really good at, I was, I will stand by the fact I was really good at For Honor when it launched. I was really good at it and I played nothing but Lawbringer and I bullied people. And it made me, it made me a, a bad person. Like it made me not happy with myself because I would think about, I would get messages of people angry at me. Like I, I made friends mad at me. <laughs> I made actual friends mad at me. Damn dude, to go back to then dude, to go back in time. Yeah, I don't like PvP. I think that's honestly why I'll never like improve much as far as gaming is concerned is because I don't play PvP. I I feel no desire in most games to push myself to play against other people. And I never will cuz it just it stresses me out. It makes me an angrier person. And I don't like being I don't like I don't like taking that because I'll take that shit with me out of the game and like upstairs to my kitchen when I'm cooking dinner and crap. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it with me everywhere I go. 
and that ruins my day. You know? Tomato anger issues gaming. I think it's a fairly accepted fact that when you get very mad at something, you tend to carry that shit with you a little ways away from where that thing actually made you mad. I'm not sure that's an anger issue. I think that's just I think that's just the reality of when something pisses you off. I I wish I was a powerful enough person to get mad at something and instantly be like part of brain that's making me mad. Turn off. I'm good again. Tomatoes and humans are naturally rigged to cling to negatives more than positives. Yeah, my brain absolutely clings to fucking negatives hard, dude. Someone could say something super nice to me on Discord. And that shit's out of my head in about 30 seconds. <laughs> in about 30 seconds, the really, really nice thing someone said to me is gone. Because someone called me stinky. Someone said I'm stinky. Someone called me dripless. And it don't matter how nice someone was next to that person. Someone called me stinky and dripless. So I carried that with me for the next seven years of my life. And I'll die with that. I'll die with that, that mental baggage in my head. It, the part of my brain that used to be there for like, you know, caring for others, being a more positive person, was scorched, burned down, and turned into a hard piece of coal that just has the, the words, never forget, dripless plus stinky, just etched into the coal chunk. And that's what's part, that part of my brain now, that part of my brain, forever. You guys want to observe some SCPs? Sorry, we we're a little bit longer than I usually do. Let's go observe some SCPs. I'm going to go to the bathroom and then we're going to do some observing. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. All right, hang on. I gotta fix something. For some reason, we've been on the wrong audio feed this whole time. Give me a sec. This might get loud. Oh no, it's fine. I fixed it. Yeah, if I don't do that, then shit gets worse later on. My ears! Nah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. God damn, it is fucking, get it is getting hot. Chat is happening. It's happening. Things are getting hotter. The temperature is... It's fucking rising. It's rising. Things are getting worse. The summer is coming again. I... I hate it. I'm okay with the winter. I'm okay with the spring. I'm okay with the fall. But the summer... Well, that's just bugs. And it's hot. And my skin... My poor skin. 
it can't handle it like the rest of you. It's, it simply cannot. I wish for nothing but the shadows to stretch across this land once more and plunge us all into the eternal darkness for another 8,000 years. Let the shadows re return to this land. Frick the sun, my guys. Frick it. For real. All right. SCP time. So this is a... Uh... This is an SCP game based off of, uh, FNAF! FNAF! So, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty wacky. Okay. Not hearing any crackling, that's a good sign. Alright, give me one sec. Check the options quick, set it to the highest visual. Turn on V-Sync. Very good. Okay. I'll turn on the feed again in one second. Very good. Okay. And... Alright. Modular site... Po That's never good. You don't like to see a typo in the menu at the beginning of the game. <laughs> you don't... You don't wanna... Oh, my mouse is on the screen. Fixed it. Modular site project. Use the use the site task list uh, on the main control panel to perform all maintenance tasks. Attention, security, Chief Franklin. Please report to containment chamber one seven three immediately. Well, that good news is that's not me. I uh, I don't work in. Uh, I'm not the chief. I'm just a guy. Uh, main security maintenance tasks. Check the generator status. Okay. Let me just... Let me just go ahead and, uh, take a look over here. We have... Generator seems to be working properly. Okay. My eyes are fucking dry. Yeah. God dang. Let's see here. Um, turn off all monitors that display a connection lost screen. Okay. Uh, really just, dude, I love the gamer setup here. Love the gamer setup. Really do. You can re you can fit so many windows on this thing. You really love to see it. Uh, okay. Everything's. Uh, repair all non-functioning security camera servers indicated by electric sparks. Yeah, that's not supposed to fucking happen. Uh, we're gonna fix that up. That's not supposed to spark like that. Absolutely fucking not. Wow, the blinking is annoying, my guy. Have you played SCP before? This is- this is normal SCP. Damn, have we started to reach the curve where people don't know about the mechanics from base SCP containment breach? Like, it, are, am I getting so old that was what- what was once an incredibly popular game of this genre has become something where people are like, that mechanic, why are they doing this? Damn, man. <laughs> what I used to think was kind of new is actually so fucking old. It's been 11 years since that game came out, possibly more, possibly 13 years. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Verify the functionality of the front security monitors. Okay. Is that these ones? These ones? Okay, well, there's, uh, Jim and Reynolds. So, uh, looks like that side's good. I can't fucking see anything in that one. It's kind of dark. But, uh, looks like I see someone. So, it looks like they're working. Uh, access camera system using the keyboard and one of the control panels. Okay, so, uh, what do we have here? Right now, we're here at, a uh, small testing room. Okay, we can go into the storeroom. I got a Tesla. Yeah, I'm not supposed to turn those on. I actually get in huge trouble if I do. I, I, the button's here. Like, I could turn this on and fucking, like, hook someone 
while they're working walking by and like we do it to we do it to interns and we'll like go on the radio mic and we'll go like and then I'll hit it <laughs> I almost did it right there to him but uh yeah we'll do that sometimes uh but yeah they, 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 they he knows better he's been here a long time he's one of the he's one of the old old guard uh main halls um SCP-012. Okay, we can actually, like, kind of climb in there. We can see people hanging out. Okay. Uh, main hallways are looking good. Uh, here we have 914. Yeah. Can't close any of it, but it's cool to know that it's there. Some more Tesla coils. Security room, that's where I am. That's me. Uh... Here's my other entrance. There's uh, Jim and Reynolds hanging out, doing their thing, having a good time. I hope. Uh, can't see anything in SCP-372's containment chamber, but I don't. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, and over here we have a surveillance room. The other surveillance room for someone else, a different guy who works here probably. Uh, that's not me. That's um one of my coworkers. How's it going, guys? Guys, they ignore me. Uh, they, uh, they don't. They're, they're busy. They're probably busy because there's, you know, an uh, SCP experiment going on right now. SCP one seven three for testing. Uh, there seems to be a problem with the door control. Yeah, what I'm doing right now is I'm mashing the door to fuck up the uh, the the test because it's kind of funny. We'll. <laughs> We'll do these kinds of pranks where, I'll, like, the, one of the other security guys will fuck with the door and, like, kind of get him on edge for a second. Okay, so if anyone asks, there was a big bug, and I don't know how that happened. Uh, if anyone asks, that was a big mistake. Someone's gonna get fired, but it's not gonna be me. I didn't do anything. Oh. The last dream you may ever have. Oh. Your nightmares are coming. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, Chet, uh, stuff went pretty bad out there, but. Hang on. Dude, what the fuck did I just go into options and it turned off my fucking borderless window for a second or attempted to? Thought I was still seeing screen tear. We're fine now. I right, copy that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep hanging in there in my secure security bunker. Don't you worry. Uh, so you guys just uh, so how bad uh, how bad could it be? How bad is it out here? Uh, where is the SCP? Uh, oh fuck. There's someone dead out there. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Jim! Uh, where's that SCP? Oh good, they're still here. Okay guys, I took care of it. Everyone back to their stations. That was easy. Uh, okay. That's how you do it. Uh, so, door's secure. Um, I'm gonna check on the other SCP. There's a couple of, oh, jeez. Oh my fucking God. They're good, but are they really? Yeah, they're good. Hey, you need to go back to your cell. Hey, can you turn back around? Please? Please. That's fine. We'll we'll just keep an eye on this guy. I mean, good news is we do have the rest of this place fully secure. I... I'm gonna take a look around the place just to be sure that we're not missing anything. These doors are locked. That's good. We like them locked. 
And if I go up to this power generator every like minute, I can restore 3% of my power, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see, 372's containment is bad. Um, no one's at the door there. We love to see that. No one's at my other door, I assume. Where's, uh, oh my God. He's, uh, he's getting closer to the station. Fuck off, where is he going? Last warning, man, all right? Uh, I have permission here to play some really fucking obnoxious music over the radio, and I will until people start clearing out. I have, we, we can't do anything violent, but I can seriously, seriously inconvenience you. So consider this your last warning you go any farther down this hallway. We're gonna get it up a notch. Oh, fuck. The hell happened? Is that pile of meat? Well, whatever. Uh, my hallways are clear. Is SCP-17? I thought I closed this fucking door. I t Glad they've been behaving, though. You know, that's... That's good. What the? Oh, okay. Well, we're just gonna keep on keeping an eye on them. There's really not much more to be done. We'll keep an eye on them, make sure they don't do anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh... Hit the power again because we're already at 61% usage at four hours left. And uh I'm getting a little worried we might um we might run out of power. Can can this fucking thing stay closed? Where is he? Okay, man. Uh I let it be known I did uh, warn you. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh shit. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Connections lost. What do you mean connections lost? Oh fuck. Oh jeez. I think I fixed it. Sorry about that. Uh, back to what I was doing. Uh, here we go. Was he leaving? Is he leaving? The fuck did he go? Oh, fuck! Go away! Fuck off! Don't you fucking dare! Oh my god, dude! It was the other door. <laughs> it was the other door. I fucked up. I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was that one. Damn. Okay, guys. It's cool. It's cool. We'll go again. We we fucked up a lot there. There was a lot of slip ups. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? What are you? Huh? Weird. That's weird. I don't like that. Fucking hell, this asshole. This asshole. Where's SCP-173? What the? Hey. Hey, you. Go straight down that hallway. Don't listen to that. Go straight down that hallway. Straight down it? Straight down it. Okay, cool. I'm with you. Alright, we're in this together. You and me. We're gonna be going straight down the hallway again here. Okay? Now, trust me, you don't want to go in the server rooms. It's bad. We want to keep going straight to the cafeteria. So let's get, let's get on that. I'm going to take a look around, and then I'll be right back.
This fucking guy. I'm about to take him to the cleaners. He's done for. But uh, I need to make sure I know where the mask guy is. He's good. Meat guy just fell. How my door's looking? Looking good. Why have you not gone forward yet? <sighs> All right. I've been permitted by the facility to. All right. I I'll have to keep playing funny sounds until you fuck off. Everyone in the entire station's gonna hear this shit. So, oh, last warning. Go away. Go back the other way. Go towards the cafeteria. Please. Hang on. I have to attend to this. I think I hear something trying to get at me. Fuck. I have so much usage. I'm fucking dead. Fucking PC piece of shit. Fuck off. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Fuck off. Where the fuck did this guy go? <sighs> D Fucking damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Piece of shit. I'm just gonna wait here until this thing's ready to charge again. I'm getting owned on power, chat. They're owning me. Okay. Dude, can you chill? I'm not sure why you're spending so much time fucking with me. What with all the creatures you could be... Well, I'm glad that guy hasn't done anything. Oh, fuck. Wait, where's he going? Well, he's going towards Tesla Coil. What's up, man? Welcome to my world, you little shit. You wanna go down towards Tesla Coil? Well, you're gonna see what happens when you fucking... When you mess with the beast, okay? <laughs> you're about to... You're about to catch these hands. <laughs> This asshole keeps pissing me off. I think he just raided the fucking server room. I'm catching this guy. This guy's done. I'm gonna catch him. This guy's done. As soon as he if he goes any closer towards the fucking Tesla coil, I'm gonna blast him one. I'm gonna blast him bad. Fuck. Dude, I'm getting owned. Dude, I'm getting owned. Dude, it's bad. I'm getting owned. I'm getting owned. I'm getting owned. Fuck. Something just broke. I'm about to get killed. He's walking down Tesla Coil. I'm gonna miss him. But It wasn't even in that room? Oh. My god. What's up? Go back. Go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Fuck! Don't. 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 You think he's gonna buy it? He might not know I'm in here. I gotta check the other side. If he walks towards that side, I know which one it fucking is. It's the one with the dark camera. I'm gonna pull the lever. I'm not gonna check for him. If he starts walking towards it, I'm gonna hit the fucking lever and we're gonna just call it. We still three hours left. I'm fucking dead. Dude, I have I have to I have to re I have to get the power. I have to. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes. <sighs> yeah. What? What's good? It oh, fuck. He left. Fuck knows where he went to. Where the hell did it, where the fuck did he go? Oh. Hey, I see you fucked off, as you should have. A wise decision. You had no idea the kind of fucking, like, weaponry I was packing in here. Holy crap. You know I know Krog Maga? Yeah, fuck off. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> Wait, 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 no, no, wait, 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 whoa, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Dude, please fuck off. He's leaving. Huge man. What a weird little creature. What a horrid little beast. Uh, 6% power. 5% power. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure am hoping that that uh, clock uh, ticks up the way I want it. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, we're not going to be looking too hot. That's why I'm paid the big bucks. All right, that's why I'm paid the fucking big bucks. That's why I'm paid the big bucks. Scenario two, what do you mean? Fuck, man. Welcome to my world, fucker. I'll be back in a couple hours to check on you, see if you need some fucking snacks, okay? Go back in. Go back in. Fuck off. Go back in. Go back. Go back in now. Please. Please go back. Yeah. Yeah, you must have thought that was going to be uh, your way out, but... <laughs> Psych. 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 Oh my god. Don't touch that fucking thing. Don't touch that fucking thing. Stop touching that machine. It's not for you. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> Go in that room behind you. Don't come the way. Of the Don't come this way, all right? Don't come this way. There's an SCP on the other side of this camera beneath this door. You want to go the other way. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Where the hell are you? Dude, don't go in there. That's... Oh, fuck. He's going in the security room. He's going to check for himself. He's going to know I'm full of shit. Fuck. I'm going to hit the power thing. Okay. 
Back to work. Where the fuck is my... Okay. At the end of the day, there's only really two sections I need to check. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, fuck. Yeah, free. Hank? Go, go back to the testing chamber, man. Go back. I know that's you, man. I can tell from your haircut. I don't know what they did to you in there, but you have to go back. Is that my guy? Chat? Where the fuck is the mask guy? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I sure hope I'm not fucking killed. <laughs> boy oh boy, that would be fucking cringy. Oh no. Oh, oh jeez. Oh fuck. Where the fuck am I? Okay. Okay. I've got... I've got the loop memorized. I've got a good setup going here. I, they're all close, but there's nothing... There's nothing here that's making me lose hope. Oh my fucking god! Oh! Yeah! What's good, idiot? <laughs> you, you fucking thought, you know, I got 52% power in here. You should fuck off. Fuck. Can you stop? Well, even broke. Damn it. Dude. He's gone. Turn it off. Hit that. I have to check the other side. Where did he go? Where did he go, though? Where's he at, though? Dude. Ain't no way. Ain't no way this computer keeps pissing me off like this. I heard a door open. Oh! Hank, fucking kill him! Hank, kill him! You're, you used to be a person like us! Kick that thing, fucking, hang on. Dude, I think I'm dead. I think I'm about to get killed by an SCP. There's like four currently uh, hanging around. Oh, fuck me! Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit more than that. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, I uh, I just don't want to deal with it. Dude. Dude, I need you to fuck off. You can't be in here, you can't be in here, you cannot be in here. <laughs> Hank? 
Hank, don't. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Hank's about to do it. Dude, no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way this happens to me. Ain't no way. I don't know where the other guy is. Oh my mother of God. You need to fuck off. Allow me to play you a lovely song. Was that good? Sorry, I hurt my tooth doing it that time. Uh, I'm gonna hang up. Ow. What does this idiot SCP even do? Do something. Do something, you coward! Why don't you just do something already? I'm gonna have to leave this door closed forever! He's waiting out the clock. Oh, he's fucking off. Oh! Oh! It's as simple as that, baby! It's as simple as that. Yeah. I. There's still one more scenario on the third level before I think we'll get like the next zone. What if I just keep all the SCPs in their rooms? What if that's how I win? What if I just keep all the SCPs in their rooms? What if that's how I do it? You know? Think about it, chat. Oh my god, I got him locked down. Oh my god, dude. I can jump between it. Oh, fuck. Hang on, this game totally isn't on full screen windowed. Hold up a second. That shouldn't happen unless it reset itself. Give me a sec. Dude, you can't claim you're on borderless if you're going to fucking, like, do that when my, my, when my mouse leaves it. You can't. Whatever. Okay. You're pissing me off. What are you trying to get me killed? Uh-uh. It's safe, come on. Da ah, fuck. Alright, you got away this time, asshole. But, uh, next time's gonna be a different story. Pussy. Yeah, I don't fucking think so. Dude, stop my power usage. I can't do everything. There's only so much I can do in this facility to keep myself safe. No! Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're in my world. You're not going anywhere. Fuck you. I'll be back. Oh, no, you don't. Hell yeah, man. The game has changed. Where's Chicken Man? I don't have time to concern myself with such trivial bullshit. Oh, fuck. 
Well, there goes SCP-173. Alright, man, I opened it for you. Psych! Wait. There we go. Good news is I was already going over to the generator. Dude, I am being fucked by the computer guy. No. <laughs> no, you're not leaving. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fixed it. Okay, man. Come on in. Is what I would say if I was letting you leave. Huh. Huh. Uh. Stop. Why does this keep breaking? The mask guy's gonna escape and he's gonna be really fucking pissed at me. He's that guy's gonna run to my fucking room and kill me. I I I can't talk this big of a talk and then not get owned. Like, he is gonna sprint and fucking kill me. No. Oh, no. Hank. 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 You gotta get, you gotta get help. It, it ain't in here. Alright, go home. This guy is totally about to come in here and fucking try to kill me! Unacceptable. Unacceptable, Hank. Just unacceptable. In here, right now? Unacceptable. Let him in? No. Hell, I'm not even gonna let this guy out. <laughs> Do you think I got- You think I wanna, like, take any risks? Fuck no. Huh. Well. Dude. Why God? Why God? Fuck! <laughs> we're, we're all having fun. We're all having fun. That's all it is, dude. You don't... We'll get him with the Tesla. You will get him with the Tesla. They're all loose. They're all loose. All we can do now is watch both doors and pray to God. Someone's opening a door. Oh, what the hell was that hard sound I heard? There's something terrible happening in this facility. Chat, something strange is afoot. Also, where the heck is SCP-173? I just really want to kill someone with a Tesla coil, you know? Is that so much to ask? I just want to really... You know, just murk someone with a Tesla coil. No, man. Don't. You know he's gonna come by. I'm sorry, that's not my room. There we go. Dude. I have to close this while I do this. Fucking damn it. I had to. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hate you. <laughs> I really do. You're really good power usage. Really good.
I have 20% power left. If you're gonna fucking do it, let's just do it already. Oh my fucking god, this can't be happening to me. <laughs> what do I do against the SCP? What do I do against that one? What, what exactly is the solution to when that one comes in? I do not know what I'm supposed to do against that one. I mean, I know... I, I understand their mechanics. I don't understand what exactly I do in the scenario of this video game specifically. Please just end the round. End it. But like in the version of it where I win. End it in the way where like I win the level. <laughs> Fuck off. It's as simple as that, baby. It's as simple as that. I observed. Wait, there's still more light containment zone? Oh my god, let me go to heavy. Dude, I don't know how much more fucking energy I have to do light. I wanted to see the new content. What do you mean you want to go to heavy? I want to see other stuff. Oh, I already lost. Oh, I already lost. He's out. I lost. He's running to me. He's running to me. My guy's doing a mad dash sprint to fucking kill me. Oh my god, why? He's sprinting to me as fast as he fucking can. Is he? Huh? Weird. Weird that he's doing that. Dude, my power usage is already down 20%, and that six hours left hasn't changed. I heard ghastly moans. I just heard a ghastly moan. Dude, what's going on with this computer? Where the hell is he? Oh. What if I should tell that guy about it? This guy? Oh my god, here we fucking go, dude. Here we fucking go. Time for the funny guy to come in and kill me. The funny weird guy that looks like a just like a, honestly like a like, like just a nasty kind of scrope looking motherfucker! Oh, mother of God! Oh, oh, I... What the hell is an SCP-3199? Damn, man, I want to unlock... I want... So, I'm at the level where next level I would get heavy containment. You just gotta be on, like, locking the two other SCP in, so you only have to deal with, like, one or two. You are so fucked. You gotta, like, fully lock down the two that move, so that you can just check occasionally the other stuff. I think, and then you pretty much have it. God, you walk away for a second, dude. Close those. Hit this. Check. Check. It's already open again, huh? Don't know who's doing that, but it's not me putting in that order. Hmm, I wonder who is. I wonder who is putting in that fucking order. No! Dickhead.
I gotta catch one of them in the Tesla. I gotta. That's how I get them. Gotta catch one of them in the Tesla. Dude. My fucking power, you see. My fucking power. I think I just heard someone open a door. Don't know where the guy is. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. They're out. They're both out now. Times are looking bad. I don't know where Mask Man is. I don't know where any of them are now. I don't think I can trick SCP-173 to go back into their bedroom. Yeah, I don't fucking know. All I can do now is manage my point blank two rooms for five hours. Oh my fucking god, this can't be happening to me. Why is this happening to me? I don't have the fucking strength. Fuck off. Not yet? Good. Dude. The computer guy is a miserable piece of shit. I'll tell you what. Hit it. Check other side. I wonder if it's more effective just not check those two cameras. Okay, well, he's there at SCP-012. Where's 173? Moving slow. That's good. They're gone. Fix that. Let's go get power now. Well, that's the best one to break. Check the point blanks. We're good. Immediately hit this again because this is just how it goes. Keep thinking I hear someone at that door. But I don't. Well. <laughs> well. Uh, yeah, well. Don't know whose that is, but it's not. My fucking problem. Close it. Don't know who screamed, who screamed that scream, but it was no one I knew. I would know. I don't know how long it takes for them to fuck off. Still there. <gasps> ah! 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 Dude, I'm not good at Five Nights at Freddy's, man. Man, I'm not good at Five Nights at Freddy's, dude. I can't get to the next level. There's literally no way. <laughs> there's just, there's just no way. We have to call Markiplier. We'd have to call Markiplier. Well, I did save another game. Uh, we do have another, um, we have another game that's similar to, uh, Observation Duty, called Para Eyes. Do you want the auto win code? Is there? Yeah, I'll check it out, if there's an auto win code. What is the auto win code for the game? Oh. Type C H win and win the scenario. Damn man, it's that easy to win the game, huh? Check this one out, chat. <laughs> cracks neck, cracks back. It's as simple as that, baby. Wait, get that achievement out of here.
Okay, video game. Where am I now? Okay. Now, why would I care about the warhead silo? We got 049. We got 106. We got checkpoint. We got a large testing chamber. I haven't seen anyone alive, you know what I mean? Other than that guy. You guys think, uh... You guys think someone's gonna be, uh... Visiting us soon? SCP-008 all for none 106 or testing chamber was 07 just some guy 895 security pretty easy run-of-the-mill day haven't even seen anyone honestly okay looking good inside the chamber let's check inside of this one I probably should have been checking inside of the chambers is 106 still here? I can't activate the femur breaker, but I could technically if I wanted to. Yeah, I'm not, uh... I'm not even seeing anyone. Maybe there's no SCPs. Hey, what the fuck? Guys, I'm starting to think maybe that all the SCPs have decided to leave me alone. Maybe, maybe I won by being a good guy and not starting any trouble or causing any crime. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn off that camera. I'm not about to get owned. I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. I'm not about to, I'm not about to, woo. What the heck? It's one of those freaky, uh, freaky dogs. One of the dogs that talks. Dude, honestly though, what a waste of their fucking potential to only use their power to like eat and devour humans when they could instead use that power to totally market themselves as like the coolest fucking like creature of all time and make a billion trillion dollars in the, you know, the free markets. It's really just so short sighted of them to simply eat humans. And that's why they're dumb. Yeah, but how did you know though? How did you know though? How did you know? How did you explain to me? All right, I'm, all right. How did you know? How did you know? Fuck you. Fu How did he know? Someone explain to me how he fucking knew. <laughs> is that is that how that SCP works? I genuinely don't remember if that's how it works. He just does. So you're telling me, you're telling me I'm on my phone in like, let's just say the middle of Australia. This guy's out there in like Canada and I got a webcam pointing right at him. I look at my phone and I got, I got, I see his face and he looks at the camera fucking dead eyes right at me and then just starts running. Just starts running. You're telling me. He took down a pl You're telling me this guy. You're telling me I'm sitting here about to go on the mission to Mars. 
All right. And the last thing I do is I look at a fun TikTok I see on my phone. And it's about this guy. And then I start seeing him running out from the window of the spaceship, running towards the ship. And I say, we have to launch it. Launch it now. Launch it now. And they launch it as fast as they can. And I start lifting up into space. And he starts fucking, he presses V and he starts no clipping after me. Tell me he's going to start no clipping after me into space. Correct. Does he jump? No, like, no, like, if it if, if it's correct, then explain. Does he jump? <laughs> he jumped to the moon. Yeah, but like, I'm on a spaceship. Is he jumping? Like, spaceships work off of like orbit and then like trajectories. So at a certain point, he's got to jump. Okay. And then also have some form of vector thrust to readjust his orbit to keep in line with mine on the spaceship as we align to travel to Mars. So, does this guy start fucking ripping one? Or did he grab, like, a fucking fire extinguisher for this shit? Like, what exactly was his game plan? Because, like, I'd love to know how he's producing so much Delta V in space. Uh... Because he can't just flap his hands. That's why we study him. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. As far as I'm concerned, okay. I, if I was an SCP and someone went to the extent where they looked at my face and that was my thing, but then they also were like, and I'm going to the next galaxy, I'd be like, well, I don't care that much. I don't care how much it's my thing. I don't think I care that much, but, you know. That, we're never going to let that happen again, though, to be clear. To be clear, that never happens again. Go back inside. I know that you know English. I know that you, you listen to people and converse. So uh, I'm going to need you to go back inside. Now. Okay, thank you. Let's try... Oh wait, never mind. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're already inside. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I think I really just beefed my chances of him not killing me when he does get out. Huh. Cool. Cool. Why do we ha- Explain to me why my server room has a camera pointed towards the deadly spooky thing that kills you if you look at it too long. Who was the guy who- ah, Who was the- Who the- ow, Who was the guy who thought of that one? Who thought about that shit? Cause like, sometimes I'm just scouring through the old setup and I'll just fucking start accidentally looking at the wrong thing and my brain will start itching. I don't really understand why it's set up like that. It's just like... Do something. <laughs> Do something, you stupid dog. Come on. Do a trick. Oh, shit. There's SCP-173. Oh, fuck. Take a screenshot, take a screenshot, chat, take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. What the? Would he know? Would he know? Would he know? If I take a picture of this guy and I make it non-fungible, if I fucking take a picture of this guy and really quickly, Convert it into some kind of NFT. <laughs> Does he know? <laughs> Does he know? One pixel is enough. My guy, this dude needs to get a therapist. If he's going to look at one pixel and be like, I know that me and I don't like what I see. For one pixel? 
dude. Why, listen, okay, some of these SCP, I get why, like, SCP Foundation lore is like, we want to learn from this weird goo, because sometimes the weird goo turns people into, like, rats, but other times the weird goo make you fly. I'm like, okay, that's cool. We can experiment with that. That's kind of, like, interesting. That could be something. But, like, then they got this guy, and it's like, his one thing is he kills you if you look at him. Like, there's no upside... Like, they had, please say that they confirmed at least one point they dunked him in the lava and he lived. And then they were like, well, we can't do anything. Right? Like, they did. This is one of those ones that at one point someone did, like, walk in there with, like, a fucking pistol, right? Put, like, eight bullets into the back of their head and nothing happened. They're unkillable. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 they're unkillable. But are they unblast them into space so no one ever looks at them again? A bull. Like, why not simply put him on... Wait a minute. Explain this moon thing. Wait a minute. I'm stuck on the moon thing again. So this guy jumps to the moon to get someone on the moon. How he get back? <laughs> Does he casually jump back to Earth? Again? He jumped back again. D did someone look up at the moon and go, Look, son. Look, a full moon tonight. And then the guy was like, you fucking saw me too, idiot. And then jumped at someone and tackled them from fucking orbit. They thought there was a shooting star, but it was this guy. Dude. <laughs> SCP-173 is at least a little chill in that like, if like no one's looking at them, they're, they kind of just do their own thing. This guy needs to relax. They seem like they're super, super crazy. Like, this one's a little too much. He's super sad and shy. Yeah, I just don't fucking care. I think... <laughs> He's going to the warhead room. <laughs> He's me. Dude, this guy's going to the fucking warhead room. What do you mean he's going to the warhead room? <laughs> don't do that. Hey, don't fucking do that. <laughs> what the? Guys, I think he's... He's not, he wouldn't come in here. That would be the least shy thing he could do. Why would he do that? I can hear him fucking crying. I mean, I can just ignore him. If you want to come in, I'll just ignore you. No, I think he's fucking off. Yeah, I think he fucked off. Wee. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. You fucking don't. What are you kidding me? Why do you have to be so mean? This guy's so fuck. This guy actually jumps to the moon to kill people that look at a pixel of his face. And you're wondering why I'm mean? You think I'm being mean? He he has a significant problem. But he's shy. Dude. If someone's shy and you look at them and they say, stop, I'm shy, and then they stab you 18 times in the chest over it, I think they're the problem. I think, I think they are ultimately the larger of the two problems. You know what I mean? Like, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, do you know what I mean in that con when I put it like that for a second?
He's working on it. Leave him alone. If he's working on it and someone fucking flew to Mars and looked at him right before they left, he would be like, I think this is where I draw the line. I don't think I'm going to chase him all the way to Mars. But no, he fucking winds up a jump and launches himself to fucking Mars. I'm not doing this, dude. Aw, oh, shit. Hey, man. Do not come into my office. Do not come into my office. It's as simple as that, baby. It's as simple as that, baby. Baby, it's a- Whoa. It's as simple as that, baby. It's as simple as that. He got over it. Chat, you guys might have missed it. Blinking, you miss it. But uh, there was actually a moment where he looked at me and there was a small smile, like a little smile. And I got a little, uh, I got a text right here on my phone that says, hey man, I thought a lot about what you said. I got over it. I think we can really move on in a more positive way. I got that email. They changed. They got better. They chose to get upset, but they didn't choose to resort to violence. You're now his only friend. Yeah, well, uh, I am busy, is the thing, so, um... <laughs> Why does that door exist? No, no one's going down here. Like, no one... Uh, what does it matter for me to have that door, you know? What, what does it exactly matter for me? I keep checking to see if I can activate the femur breaker. I can't. Nice generator, huh? Yeah. Hang on, I think someone's coming into my room to fucking kill me. <laughs> He stopped pondering the generator. It looks like we're in trouble now. Damn. Here we go again, man. When am I gonna get to blast someone with a Tesla coil so hard they explode? God damn it. I just want to blast someone with the Tesla. Like, I would do an SCP for it. I would do a guy for it. I'd even, I'd even do one of the, like, guards for it. Where's this guy going? Yeah, yeah, you're fucked now. Go back to your cell. Last warning, pussy. <laughs> Don't go back to that room. I got the. Okay. Okay. He's... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Huh. Don't do that. Dude, I mean, I truly do have all day.
I wonder if I have time to break a femur while I do this. <laughs> Fuck, there's no way. Whoa, hey, whoa, let's relax. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Hey, hey, whoa. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, whoa. Let's all calm down. Whoa, hey. Which number even is this guy? Is he 079? He's not 079. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Yeah, I hope you like watching this, you f sick freak. He's 106. I have to do a complex combination of many different inputs in order to pull this off without getting myself freaking killed. Here I go. I'm about to- Damn, you got faster, dude. Are you getting faster? <laughs> Damn, man. Scared of the dark, huh? Oh, wait, I'm out of power. <sighs> well, um... <laughs> Ow, my neck! Ow! <laughs> All right, fair, man. Fair. Makes sense. Adds up. Adds up. You guys want to check out that other game? We check out that other one for a little bit. I think we've seen this one. I think we've seen it. Next game is called Para Eyes. Kind of like Pair of Eyes, but also kind of like Pair Allies. I don't fucking know. It's Para eyes. Para eyes. Yes. Shall we? Yes. Oh, hang on one second. Let me just check my settings before I, before I do anything. Oh, good. That setting is the one that breaks my game. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, oh, good. That setting's the one that. What is this shit? Did I just turn off my game PC? It turned off the whole PC! Damn. When it said full screen, it meant full PC. It's doing the- it's- Everything is now dedicated to this application. Holy shit. It para-eyed my computer to death! It seems like some other shit formatted my PC. <laughs> I... I don't feel so good, chat. Oh. It, like, actually caused, like, weird tearing to now happen on my PC. I want to see if I can show you guys this. Dude, what the heck did you do to me? Dude. Hang on. I don't know how to fix this. I might have to do, I might just restart the PC and, I, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna unplug the, 
I, I it's because I went to fucking full screen like a doofus, even though I don't like full screen, and it just conflicted really hard with my setup in like a major way. Am I still showing my feed? I am. That's good. That's good, para eyes. Hey, para eyes. That's good. Let me see if I can get this thing off of full screen and then unplug and replug this in and fix it. Okay, give me one sec. I think I fixed it. Dude, para eyes and this game are not getting along. I think I fixed it. Okay, I just need to turn on borderless gaming because full screen on this game is so cursed that I don't think it's ever... Okay, we got there. We got there. Para eyes, we are going to grandma's. <laughs> We are going to grandma's. Come on, everyone. Let's go to grandma's. Now, the anomaly packs we have is uh, specifically none of them. We have no anomaly packs. We are going to grandma's on easy. Let's go visit Mima and see what's going on. Four cameras, 47 anomalies. How do I change monitors? How do I? What the? New text. I think something fully broke this whole game. I think I'm gonna just give grandmas a quick restart. This game worked when I tested it earlier, chat. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This game worked very well when I tested it. I'm going to restart it. We're we'll give it. I think I actually managed to corrupt the game. I'm going to I'm just going to verify the cash on this one. We're going to give this one a quick old verify. Verify the integrity of these files. Maybe I fucking cooked my SSD somehow. All files validated. I'm giving you one more chance to launch properly, and then I get mad. Here. We go. We are going to go to Mimos. Dude. I tested this game yesterday and it worked totally fine. Like actually was was like one of the best working uh, observer observation duty likes I had played for like functionality and somehow I managed to beans it. I managed to beans it up. We're gonna try a different map. Dude, I broke the game. I broke the game. New text. I actually managed to break this game. I, I'm, dude, I'm incredibly powerful. I channeled some kind of fucking powerful dark magic to be able to launch this game, have it shut my PC down entirely, and when it launched again, it refused to let me play anymore. I actually fried my SSD forever. Okay, guys, I'm gonna look around on my hard drive to see if I have a backup, backup game. <laughs> Remember, any suggestions you might have for what might be breaking it are not applicable to me. I use two PCs. Uh, there's no OBS interaction here or any weird shit like that. I use two PCs for a reason. Uh, I'm gonna try to see 
if I, let me open up the old desktop stream games folder, see if I can find us a backup game. Yeah, I got, I got, wait, no, that one I already did. Uh, I got a game called The Microwave Paradox. That, we could do that one. I got this game called The Microwave Paradox. You guys like microwaves? I have no idea the context of this one. But I'm gonna name, I'm gonna set the stream to spooks. I have no idea what this one's about. I saw someone streaming it and I was like that. Oh no, it opened in the wrong fucking monitor. One second, chat. Base fart. Good news is switching monitors is good. Look, chat, this one works. <laughs> Look, chat, this one works. The microwave paradox. A very big microwave producing company provided you the super microwave for testing purposes. Now you are going to test your new microwave with different types of food. Okay. We just one right here? Oh, hang on. Hello. Hello. Thanks for agreement to participate in our super microwave testing. We hope you will get the best experience with your super microwave. In order to get better experience, we recommend you to watch the video tutorial, which will teach you how to use the microwave provided by our company. Okay. This one? Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. Well, I was going to watch it, uh, and then it left. <laughs> uh... Well, um, well, uh, you know, there's not much I can do about that. Um, I, I had the VHS in my very hands, and then it fell into the, oh, what? Hold up. That microwave just move on its own and peer around the corner at me? Yo, you. I'm just gonna... I think this might be the VHS. I'm gonna try to listen to this one. See if it works. The super microwave can become your best friend. It can help you to make your food better. It can even watch a movie with you. You have absolutely no reason to not to trust your microwave. Attention. True. Microwaves cannot talk. If your microwave started to talk with you, then follow next step. Okay. First, make sure there is nobody hidden inside the microwave, because microwaves don't talk itself. Okay, I'll Second, check that right now. try to isolate yourself from the super microwave. It is better to lock all your house doors and put the super microwave outside. Alright. Don't worry, your life is safe now. Okay. And finally, try not to talk and interact with microwaves. Some aspects of the effect of microwaves on humans are not yet fully understood. Okay. All right, well, uh, that all made sense to me. I'm going to start putting stuff in this microwave and just seeing what cooks. Uh, floor burger, we got donuts, we got, uh, we got, looks like that's about it. Uh, first thing I'm going to microwave though is this bottle of ketchup. Ow! Yeah, that's hot. Yeah, that's hot. That worked. That heated up. Good microwave. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, what else do I have? I don't want to cook the burger yet. I'm saving that. I got this, uh, funny bar. I guess I'll heat this up in your microwave. All right, do your thing.
How you do that? No, 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 no. No, when I put you in, that thing was horizontal, now vertical. Did you? How you do that? How you do that? That was, I had it horizontal. How you make that stand? All right, good though. All right, next I'm gonna heat up this donut. Okay, donut done. Stop. Stop! I don't know how to turn it off. I'm gonna... I'm gonna cook the burger now. Okay, microwave. Cook up that burger. Let's rev up that microwave and get me a nice burger to eat. Okay, now there's donut. Okay, now, uh, now this box. Okay, it doesn't want... Okay, now this donut. Damn, you're really good at making donuts hot, hotter. Microwave. Thanks! Yeah. All right, well, I'm out of stuff to heat up, so I'm gonna call it a day on that one. I think. But it was cool hanging out. I guess. Microwave. Wait, hang on. I got some other stuff here. Let me just... See if I can... I got those bottles. I guess I could do those bottles. Yeah, I guess I got these bottles here. Hang on, I've accidentally sealed myself in my own tomb. Okay, microwave. I got another bottle. I'm gonna put it in. Eat up. Microwave really ate all of it. Hello? You have broken the microwave which our company provided to you in testing purposes. You are a pathetic and worthless person who don't deserve to own our super microwave. <laughs> our sales manager will now come to your house and take your life as a fine. Wait. Wait, what? Oh! Oh my! Oh my god! <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? I don't... This was not the kind of horror experience I was expecting! <gasps> what? <laughs> Holy heck! Oh my- oh! Well, there was a microwave in this game. Well, there was, there was, there was a microwave. We can, we can all agree on one thing, chat. There was a microwave in there. And I can't find, I don't know where the paradox was. Um, but there was a microwave. And really, at the end of the day, we were playing for the microwave, not the paradox. So, you know, that's pretty epic. Let me see what else I can find in my garbage bin of a folder for variety streams that um, I have here as emergency backups because the one game I planned on doing after SCP broke so hard that there was no way to save it. I have one called Wheat Harvest Paradox. Maybe this one has a, maybe this one has a paradox in there. That one, are we here for wheat harvesting? Are we here for the paradox? I don't know. I'm gonna launch it.
Paradox night. Why the rain going up though? Chat, why the Chat, why the rain going up? One day, a meteorite fell into one of the poorest cities, which mixed two directions of time. This is the usual one that goes forward and reverse time. Wait, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Can we get, can we get all that said again? One day, a meteorite fell into one of the poorest cities. Okay. Okay. Which mixed two directions of time. Okay. This is the usual one that goes forward and reverse time. Right. Because of this, a temporary chain was formed in which the direction of time changes every day. Ah, we're in a strand type game. We're death stranding. Whoa. I don't need to sleep now. Good morning, Combiner. Or rather, evening, because it's a reverse day today. Good night. <laughs> See, that's a little bit of reverse day humor, because uh, cause normally I'd say good morning, but uh, it's an evening, so I said good night. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I remind you that at the end of the day, you must exchange the wheat harvest for our currency, wheat coins. <laughs> okay. Menu, bread, and water only on normal days. Okay. Only on normal days. Hey. Oh, another reverse day. We sure, we are sure to survive. Okay. Well, I guess reverse days are good. Huh. Hmm. I managed to come up with a formula to charge my invention, which will break the time loop. And time will be normal forever. True, I need a lot of wheat to make fuel for my invention from it. I hope you can collect so much wheat. I accept wheat in the form of coins. I'll exchange them with the chef later. To complete my invention that will save us, I need 200,000 wheat coins. Yeah, I got zero, my guy. So that's pretty much all I can say about that one. Hey. Oh, Combine, I hope I'll... All hope is in you. One day we'll get out of here. Oh, thanks, guys. I'm, well, hey, for a bunch of people that are stuck in a time loop, they got some big smiles on their face. Look at that guy. Holy heck. Everyone's having a good time despite it all. Despite it all. Look at them. Look at them all. Wait a minute. I know you. Is this the guy that made that fucking toilet game? Not Urge, the other one. Is this the guy that made that fucking toilet game? No, 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 no. <laughs> Why don't I check these things? Hang on, this one actually seems kind of interesting though. Hello, I'm a mechanic and I take care of your combine. I would assume we know each other. We've both been stuck in a time loop for, well, Possibly thousands of years, so you don't need to introduce yourself to me unless you're stuck in like a mental time loop And you keep forgetting every day that you introduced yourself to me the horrid booty creek cheek freak not that guy <laughs> Not that no not that dev either Remember this field has a reversed copy of you and the combine what? I can also upgrade your combine to harvest faster and better. You can take a look at the available upgrades. I work for wheat coins. 
What the fuck is going on? What does this guy mean reverse copy me? I'm getting I'm gonna get to my goddamn job. Let's just harvest some goddamn wheat. Wait. I ran over someone. Was that me? Did I just run over the real me? What's happening? Current direction of time backwards. And Chet, when I come back here again, am I gonna see my guy in a reverse timeline going backwards, de-harvesting wheat? And I'm gonna see them unrun over a guy. <laughs> what? Oh. 20%, 21%, 22%, 23%. We love wheat. We love wheat. We love wheat. It's a shame there was that one time I got bored and I ran out into the. Was that person walking backwards? What the? I'm just gonna collect my wheat. What the? Huh. This place is weird. There's something off about this place. Those people over there, they don't walk like us. They don't walk like us. They're not like us. I... The hell was that? They don't walk like us. Those people over there, they're not like us. Press R to end workday. Well, I want to harvest some more wheat first. Is that a fucking problem? Is it wrong to want to do a good job? Freak! You're a freak! You're weird! Damn backwards walkers. They're all sick. They don't understand anything about a hard day's work. All they ever do is walk away from work, slowly in reverse. All right, my job's done. Believe 50% of the job for the other me. I got wheat. Holy heck. Yeah, sell it. All right, man. Well, uh, I'm going to go to sleep. It's been a pleasure, though. I don't need to sleep now. My guy awakens. Big new day. Let's get out there and uh, get to work. Looks like the rain's normal today. Hey, man. Looks like, uh, looks like the rain's coming down normal now. Looks like we have a normal forward day. I guess I get back to it then. Should I have been driving in reverse last time? Is that going to be a problem? I don't care. Uh, engine increases moving speed. Turning's good. Harvest coverage is good. Can't get quality of the crop yet, but turning and harvest coverage is big. Uh, direction of time is forward. What the? Stop! Jackass. That guy doesn't know anything about a hard day's work. That guy literally doesn't know anything about anything. That's his problem. He just drives around like a psychopath's floor and get backwards. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? He just... He's a shit. Just get what we need and get the hell out of here. I keep an eye out for him. He doesn't look where he's going. You see, I see uh, how he drives. The people in the four, the people in the reverse timeline, they don't know anything about anything, and they don't know how to fucking drive. They hit me. They hit my car. What if I just follow him? I'm looking right at that guy, but he looked just like me. Wait, how the hell he- Whoa, whoa! 
I think I paradoxed him. I think I accidentally did a paradox on him. Where the hell is he? What, he finished work or something? <laughs> this is cool. This is, this is a very unique, weird game. Turn <laughs> that. 10,000 coins? Yeah, I'll take it. Right, I'm going to sleep. Whoa. Didn't even get 100% cringe. Nah, dude. That's not cringe. You're cringe. Look in the mirror. Look at you. You're cringe. And stop. Well, oh, another day in the life of a reverse, a reverse denizen of this city. Another day in the life. Guess let's get back on it again. There he goes again. That weird guy going in the normal time has no idea how hard it is to be someone going in reverse time. My guy has no idea how hard it is to be someone working on this timeline. He has no respect for, no respect for hard work. He's always following my work. Always f drawing these weird lines like he's chasing someone. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Always gotta clean up his mess he's leaving behind. Doesn't know what he's doing. Who's he even think he is? Pisses me off. Goddamn reverse timeliners! <laughs> gotta be careful. I drive by here next time. That spit's gonna fly right back into my eye. Gonna really make me look like a fool. Gotta make sure not to drive by here tomorrow. Gotta watch. How much we got? We'll get, a, we'll get a bit more today, try to bring in a good haul. We're getting more uh, cash for it now. Try to get in a solid 60%. Look at how fast that guy, look at how fast that guy goes back. Goes back into his goddamn parking spot. Doesn't even do a full, doesn't even put in a full day's work. Doesn't even put in a full day's work. He's pathetic. Yep. Yeah. I have no idea. Lazy. Lazy forward timeline. Lazy. Couldn't be me. We're getting up to 70%. Is what I would say if I was going to have a little bit of a laugh. <laughs> Twenty-five thousand coins. Not bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. What day is it today? Forward time. Uh, gotta make sure I get a good job done today. OMG 69 is the same way in reverse and forward time. What does it mean? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. I don't feel so good, chat. All right, let's get this bad boy done. I mean, we get we get a lot done really quickly now, chat, and we're clearing it out quite far. Ah! ah! Spit God, my fucking eye. What the hell? Oh! Oh!
Wild. Wild. You gotta watch out, Jack. You gotta watch out. People out here, they don't understand how the timeline works. They're just leaving things around for us to clean up, us forward timeliners. Just leave shit around for us to clean up. Oh, whoa! Goddamn reverse timeliners don't even know how much danger they're in going right out into the way of the combine. How many times have I run that guy down? How many times have I run that guy down? How many times I... How many times I kill that guy at this point? Hundreds. Yet they don't learn their lesson. Whoa, 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 whoa! Jack is. Jack is. Dead again? This guy's doing this fucking weird ass pattern. I don't even get it. There's, it's aimless. It's aimless. There's no logic behind the loop they're doing. Well, I don't know where the fuck are they? Where'd they go? I bet they parked already. I bet the guy already parked. Yup, look at that. Underachieving, refusing to do even a full day's work. Like always. Not me though. I'm gonna get this job done. I'm gonna do it right. We're gonna get it done, we're gonna do it right. Because if we don't, well I know the other guy ain't either. All right. So, we're gonna, we're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done for real. Yep. Yeah. Like, look at these nasty patches. Who's leaving these nasty patches everywhere? Something's up. 80. 81. 82. 83. 84. 85. 86. 87. 88. 89, 90, last 10%. Hope that reverse guy is watching, dude. Hope he's fucking seeing this as I finish their job for them. 95, 96, 97. There's no way this adds up. 98, there's no way this adds up. 99, 100%. 101%. One hundred and two percent. Cause you know that's the thing. You gotta put in a hundred and ten percent. You gotta put in a hundred and ten percent. That's how you get the job done right. You gotta put in a hundred and ten percent. Not unlike much unlike these fucking reverse timers. Don't understand anything about anything. You gotta put in a hundred ten percent every time. Every time. Yep. Yeah. They don't get it. 82,000 wheat coins. Eat snip, nip that snip. Eat snip, nip, snip. Snip, 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 snip. Snip it, snip it, snip it, snip Snip it, I can't do it. Where's all the weed? How are we supposed to get a good job of work done today if the other side's taking all the weed? That's all they left for us, Jim. That's all they left, Jim. Increase the value of the wheat. Increase the cutting size of the bar. Maximum coverage. Darn forward time thieves. Guess I'll have to clean up the rest of it. Yep. Yeah. Guess I'll just have to clean it up for them.
hey, I mean, we're going to be done with this game in probably the next one or two cycles, chat. We're making a lot of wheat out of this. We're catching a lot of wheat. We're catching a lot of wheat. Yep. Where the hell's all this wheat coming from? Feel like I just keep on clearing this circle, but every time I do, it gets a little bit bigger, and I just don't know what the hell's going on with that. My job's never done, I guess. I swear, every time I do it, feels like I'm getting close to the middle, but somehow I get farther out. What the hell? What the hell, man? Must be those forward timers up to something again must be them they're forward timers haven't seen one in a while thank god as far as i'm concerned where the hell are they anyways i'm already at 60 percent complete where the hell are they Well, I ain't gonna be shown up by no forward timer. No, sir. Seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight. Man, we are going fast now. We're gonna make a lot of money out of this if I finish it. And imagine how mad the fucking forward timer is gonna be when they see how little wheat there is for them. Think about it. I'm gonna take it up to 120%. Just to really show it to them. Show them how we do it in the backwards time. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna take it up to 120. What the? Piece of shit. Show him what for. Oh, I'll show him all right. You better call it a day. It looks like you've given your 110%, motherfucker. Better call it a day. You might be getting tuckered out. What the? Piece of shit. 120. You must be getting pretty tired. And if you go any longer, you'll be... Well, you'll be fucking with the timeline, so maybe we ought to both calm down. Maybe we ought to... Oh, my God. Maybe we better calm this down. We're taking in a lot of wheat right now. Uh, on 38, on 39. I could go to 200%. There's no big deal about that. Oh, uh, look who finally parked. Pathetic. Ain't willing to put in their 160% effort. Classic forward timer. Classic forward timer. Or, or as we say in these parts, each nip, 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 nip. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we're gonna finish the field. We're gonna finish this bad boy. We're gonna finish it up the right way. I want him to watch. I want him to, I want him to see. Yep. I think I gotta go back to Hydroneer chat. They added like a fucking ton of updates, including like one that makes it a farming game and shit. I gotta swing back around to that soon. Hundred and seventy percent. Hundred and seventy one. I mean, we're pretty much done here, right? I feel like there's still more grass spawning, you know what I mean? Like, I swear, man, something's up. Sometimes I'll just get somewhere and there seems to be more grass. Maybe I'm just missing, I think I'm probably just whiffing corners sometimes because of the wide turns. I just want it all gone. I want him to know that I'm better at this than them. Matter of fact, I need him to know. Imagine being some kind of backwards timer try hard. 
can't even understand what you're saying because you're obviously from the forward times, and therefore all you're saying to me is if which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, let me run that back on my recorder. Let me run that back. Let me go ahead and pull out a recorder, get that up to your face, record that, run it back, so I can figure out what the fuck you just said to me. Can't even speak right. Oh yeah, we're done here. We're done here, let's bring it back. Imagine being some kind of backwards timer. Try hard. SMA. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> time them out. Time, time them out! Is what I would say you should do if I wasn't just gonna go to forward time right now and kick your ass myself. Don't. I better not catch you in the wheat fields tomorrow, motherfucker, because I got 200,000 wheat coins and I'm about to take you to town. You're going to get ready to catch these hands, all right? In forward time. Here I come. Oh, oh yeah, you know. Yeah, that'll work. Damn, we made that thing out of wheat. Damn, man. That machine was built out of 100% wheat. Damn. We made guns out of wheat. That was a creative little game. Not really spooky, but creative and interesting. Intriguing. An intriguing concept. I really liked it. That was a great 24 or like uh, like three day, 72 hour game. That was awesome. That one was a good one. Well, chat, I did say I wanted to do a shorter stream today, and I'm plan I was planning on that. So we are going to wrap up here because, uh, alas, I would have probably gone longer if pair of eyes worked, but it broke my whole PC and then broke itself in an attempt to stop me from playing it. And at that point, there's not really much I can do. So uh, we'll call it there. I had a good time. Look, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow with a, uh, a stream. So keep your eyes peeled, okay? Thanks for hanging on out. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for gifting subs and donating bits and etc. If you did, I mighty appreciate that shit as always, as always. Yeah, we'll be doing a Sunday stream because there's no D and D. Uh, we don't have another D and D session for another week or two. We're doing uh, the next thing we're going to be doing is um, fucking like uh, Twilight one shot. I think that's what's happening. Is a Twilight one shot. Not using D&D. &D. We're using a different tabletop game. It's going to be fucking cursed. We're doing a one-shot Twilight thing using, like, a game called, like, Monster Hearts, I think. I need to think of my character. I think everyone from the Godforge team is involved now. I think everyone's doing it. I need to think of what I'm going to do still. I haven't thought of my guy. But it should be a good time. Anyways... I'll catch you all tomorrow at the usual time. Thanks for stopping on by. Appreciate it. I'll see you later. Goodbye.